Hello students, this is Miss Moss and we are going to do our math lesson from Engage New York. Let's set up your notebook. So put the date as usual. And this is module one, lesson five. I know we skipped lesson four, that's okay. We're not going to do every lesson in this workbook. So this is a pretty fun, easy lesson. And the objective is that we are going to learn how to read and write decimal numbers. I'm going to abbreviate. Okay, let's read the objective. Name decimal fractions in expanded unit and word forms by applying place value reasoning. The first direction say express as decimal numerals. The first one is done for you. Take a moment to put your name and date. So as you can see, these are written in word form, four thousandths, and all you have to do is write it as a decimal, four thousandths. You may want to use this part below to remind you the tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. That will help you do this part. So go ahead and pause the video right now, and I would like you to do B to H, and then we'll go over them. Okay, you should be done with B to H if you are continuing to watch, so let's write the answers. 24 thousandths. Tenths, hundred thousandths, yep. One, and, so when it, when it says and, I know that's the decimal. One and 324 thousandths. 608 thousandths. 608 thousandths. Oh, this and indicates that it's the decimal. So let me put in the decimal. So it's 600 and eight thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, yeah. Okay, this is going the opposite way. They wrote, write it as a fraction, and we write it as a decimal. This says 46 thousandths. 3 and, so let me put the 3 and the decimal, 946 thousandths. 200 and this fraction, 200 and 904 thousandths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Score yourself at a seven. Okay, this next section, you have to write it in word form. So we'll do the first one together. You do B and C by yourself. So this first one says five thousandths. So it's going to be it's going to be almost the same as A, except the, the word five. Five thousandths. Make sure you have this DTH, because if you just write thousands, then that would be like way over here. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Do B and C. All right. If you're continuing to watch, that means that you're ready for three. Three looks really confusing, but don't worry, it's not. It says, write the number on a place value chart. Then write it in expanded form using fractions or decimals to express the decimal place value units. The first one is done for you. So here is the number, and they wrote it in the chart. 35 and 827 thousand. So first you write it. And then you break it apart by saying the three means three, ten, three times 10. The five means five times one. The eight means one tenth. So basically eight times one tenth. That's this part. The two means two times one hundredth. The seven means seven times one thousandths. And in between all of these, you have a plus sign. 
because if we were to add them together, then you would get this entire number. Okay, and then they wrote it below exactly the same thing, except instead of fractions, they use decimals. One tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth. So yes, you should write it both ways. Okay, so you're going to do the um, the problems on the on the other page. Sorry, I was stuck. Um, you're going to do B, C, and then number four. Number four is almost the same. It's asking you to write a decimal number for the number that they wrote out the long way. Okay? And then go ahead and go on to five. And let me see. I think they give you a, yeah, they give you this template. So you can tear this out right now. It's on page 47. And use that to write the numbers. So if you, if you want to tear it out, you can. And if you just want to do it in this space, that's also fine. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video until you are done with this page. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the exit ticket. I'll explain it and then give you a time to pause it and continue. So number one, oh, put your name and date, please. Number one says express nine thousandths as a decimal. So you're going to write it in decimal form. Express 29 thousandths as a fraction. This is going to be in the form of a fraction. Express 24 and 357 57 thousandths in, it says, expanded form and in unit form. So um, I, I would write it, when it's expanded in unit, I would write it these two different ways. You can also write it with words. Okay, was that the last one? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and pause it, pause this video, do this page, and then I'll correct some of them with you. Okay, ready to do some of the an these answers. So number one should be 10, 10 hundred thousands, nine thousandths, 29 thousandths, and um, I'll go ahead and do A with you. So I would write the two as in two times 10 plus four times one plus three times one tenth plus five times one hundredth plus seven times 1,000. Okay, let's go on to the homework. I'm not going to correct every problem with you. I just correct some of them. That's why I'm skipping. Okay, so let's review what you're doing. So this first section... Whoa, <laughs> sorry about that. My camera fell. Okay, the first section is exactly like your problem set. Same thing here. You write them out in word form. Same thing here, express the number with fractions and decimals. As you can see, the homework usually looks exactly like the problem set. Okay, same thing, you have two numbers to work with to put them in, into fraction and decimal um, elongated format. Then these say write the decimal for each one and you have two word problems, okay? Go ahead and complete your homework right now if you don't finish during class, this is what you need to finish this evening. All right, great job, guys.